President, you show once more your leadership and dedication for Kenya and for the implementation of African Union Agenda 2063. And thank you for encouraging me to speak English. I would like to, congrat to congratulate the United Cities and Local Government of Africa, the Government of the Republic of Kenya, Governors of Kenya and the Kisimu County Government for the unprecedented organization of the summit and the warm hospitality extended to us. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the African Union embraces the theme of this summit of Afri cities, of the role of intermediary cities in the implementation of Agenda 2030 of the United Nations and Agenda 2063 of the African Union. Intermediary cities have a crucial role on urbanization policy and have become a renewed subject of interest for governments, international organizations, and academics. Intermediary cities are growing fast and have the greatest potential to shape the urban future, and yet they are often overlooked. Much attention has been paid to capital cities, which are the political, social, and economic centers of a country. As a result, our economies fail to realize the benefits that a more balanced special development and intercity collaboration can generate. The growth of intermediary cities implies an increase in wealth, inequalities, need for housing, infrastructure and urban services, pollution, need for decent jobs, increased waste production, and therefore, the role needs to be recognized and clarified. If left alone to manage themselves without a clear role, cities will manifest into chaotic development. Cities have their unique challenges and potentials. Therefore, clarification of the role should take into consideration their peculiarities. Ladies and gentlemen, I am particularly pleased to see that the summit has chosen the theme linking the global UN agenda to Africa's agenda as a template of how to think global while acting locally to African aspiration and distinct cultural realities. Africa, like the rest of the world, has committed itself to the implementation of the UN nation United Nations Agenda and the new urban agenda. Furthermore, the continent's agenda, 2063, outlines not only our aspiration for the future, but also identifies key flagship programs which can boost Africa's economic growth and development and lead to the rapid transformation of the continent. The three agendas, have powerfully captured the role of cities and their envisioned cities that fulfill their social, economic, ecological, and political function in an inclusive manner. At the continent level, the African Union has developed a regional framework for the implementation of the new urban agenda. The AU has developed also the African Charter on Values and Principles of Decentralization, Local Governance, and Local Development to facilitate implementation of decentralization, which remains a challenge in many countries. These instruments serve as a sound foundation for guiding the development of our cities, as well as clarifying your role as local authorities in intermediary cities. With your experience and key role as mayors and governors, it is now up to you to make sure
ensure that these valuable tools become an integral part of your urban management to ensure the decentralization and urbanization we want. As you deliberate here on the shores of Lake Victoria, which is both a trade route, transnational water highway for cities beyond Kisumu, it is also a reminder of the impact of climate change on our lives and livelihoods. I also want to remind you that regional integration is a fundamental objective of Agenda 2063. The African Free Trade Area Agreement, AFCFTA, can be seen in action here in Kisumu, a vibrant city that trades with neighboring counties and countries, facilitating the free movement of goods and people for the shared prosperity far beyond the shores of Lake Victoria.